version of it sometime. A tale of twins in the very deep, dark forest. No such place. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I gotta get back to work. What was that? My instructional camping video. No, what did you mean by no such place? It's just that everywhere I've been, and I've been almost everywhere there is to go, I've never heard a very deep, dark forest. Yeah? Well, maybe you got a better story? Ooh, I don't know. I think Sour and Sweet's adventure would be hard to top. Oh, I could top it. Easy peasy. Then why don't you? Here, stay with us. Tell us a story. Yeah! yeah. Come on, Apple. We want to hear about your big adventure that's more exciting, uh, thrilling, and daring than the one Sour and Sweet just told. Okay, I'll just make it quick. Well, this story, it was the kind of thing that happens to me all the time. I'm sure. Well, it was... Adventure! Thrills! Danger! That's my life, don't you know? This particular time, I was reporting on the Berry Bitty Great Race for my Berry Best Bits travel page. The four-leg course was an equestrian-style cross-country, a mountain climb, a hot air balloon race, and a sailboat race. Of course, to report it, <laughs> I had to enter it. Ah, huh, thank you, Tea Time. Riders to your mouth! <gasps> These are the moments an adventurer lives for. <laughs> Contestants were already mounted on their steeds. I gave them a sportsmanly nod of encouragement. <gasps> Little did I know, they had no intention of behaving in a sporting way. There were Mr. McSnivels, Guava Guttersnipe, and Cruddy Do No Good. I felt there was something oddly sinister in the way they smiled back at me. But I paid it no mind at the time. Look at her. Not enough. She's won 199 races. She has to make it 200. Greed, I tell you, greed! Wretched girl! And her little turtle, too! This time, she'll never reach the finish line. <laughs> Not if I have anything to say about it. Or do no good about it. <laughs> The sun in your face, the wind in your hair, the power of your noble steed leaping over every obstacle. What happened next, Apple? Yes, then what? Well, Tea Time and I were doing great. Way ahead of the pack. <laughs> ahead already? What a surprise. Nah, it wasn't any surprise. It looked like things were gonna turn out exactly like the other 199 races I'd won. But then, all of a sudden, without any warning, dastardly deeds threatened to thwart my stellar performance. What I didn't know was evil doings were afoot. No rabbit can resist it! Apple Dumplin's chance to win is doomed! <laughs> Genius, Mr. McSnivels! Pure g... Uh, just really smart! Thank 
you, Miss Gutter Snipe. of geometry and mechanical engineering, I figured out just what to do. Get to the top, down the other side, fly a hot air balloon to the lake and sail across it to the finish line. Easy peasy. Always going swimmingly, or should I say climbingly, when out of a blue and sunny sky, we were hit by a blizzard. What I didn't know at the time was, it wasn't a blizzard at all. We were doomed until all of a sudden I spotted shelter. What was that? The legendary abominable snow beast of very big. Let's get out of here! <laughs> Some may have 
trembled in fear. Some may have fled for their very lives. Not me. No matter what the cost, I had to find out what it was. Well, what was it? What did you find? Weren't you afraid? Me? <laughs> Terrified. Farther and farther, we ventured into the darkness, not knowing what sort of beast we would encounter. For the love of Lederhosen, who are you? I'm Apple Dumplin', and this is Tea Time Turtle. We're competing in the very bitty great race. I'm Ilsa, and this is my twin sister Elsa. Do you yodel? Do I what? Yodel. Like this. Yole, yole, yole. Wait! We agreed to yodel always in the key of B flat. Ah, says you, it was the key of C. B flat. C. B flat. C. Um, excuse me. Perhaps this key would work for both of you. Bless my strudel, a D-sharp person. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, shall we try? And the one, and the two. Yole, 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 My goodness gracious, we rocked! <laughs> <laughs> You better get over there. You are in first place. You want to keep it that way, yeah? Well, this tunnel turned out to be kind of a shortcut. So I think I better wait until the rest of the contestants catch up. Only fair. Ugh, sauerkraut, who will know? You could get a big head start. A race is only fun if it's fair. Come on, tea time. We'll wait at the balloon launch. Good luck, Apple Dumpling. And remember, wherever you go, keep yodeling! A race is only fun if it's fair. That's what I told him. So you can imagine my shock to find Cruddy do no good, doing no good. What'd she do? What was it? Untying all the balloons so she wouldn't have any competition. You can't do that! It's not fair! Uh, fair schmear! Uh, see if I care! <laughs> <laughs> she did it! Wait! Look! Hold on, tea time! <laughs> He let us 
to a tropical fruit stand on the mountain. <laughs> a tropical fruit stand <laughs> on a mountain? Is this not getting just a bit ridiculous? May I continue? Oh, oh yes! yes, please. yes please. <laughs> Morning or noonin' or afternoonin'. Welcome to Fern Fron's Tropical Fruit Stand. I'm Fern Fron, but you can call me Fern, friend. Nice to meet you, friend. Fern, uh, I'm Apple Dumpling, and I'm competing in the Berry Bitty Great Race. Ooh, you're about a mountain off course. I saw some real treachery going on up there in the sky. Could it be someone wasn't playing nice with others? Hmm, pretty much, yeah. Hmm, sorry about that. How about a frozen banana chocolate pop? A Fern Franz specialty. Actually, would it be possible for me to purchase this banana peel? Certainly, but what would you want with that? Uh, huh. looks like you've got someone who doesn't play well with others heading your way. Peel, sure thing. Come on, tea time. They're gaining on us. <gasps> hey, why, that's, that's stealing. Stealing, schmealing. After that peeling. Hey, that's stealing too. That's right. One bad. do no good. In all my days as head official of the Berry Bitty Great Race, never have I seen the level of treachery and dastardliness that you have displayed today. Wait, it's true. You never have seen, because you weren't there. You didn't see us. How do you know we did those dastardly villainy things we did? Uh, you say we did. I'm with Cruddy. Where are your witnesses? Witnesses, you say? Allow me to introduce you to our race rule monitors. You think we just sit around all day and yodel? We've been keeping an eye on you. <gasps> and it wasn't just bad deeds they were monitoring either. Apple Dumpling? For winning the race, and most importantly, for your good sportsmanship, I award you... First prize! What a great <laughs> story! <laughs> what great imagination! Apple's a tall tale natural! Good job, Apple. Gotta admit, that was the best story yet. <sighs> you win first prize for imagination. Imagination? What do you mean? I didn't make it up. Every word was true! <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Sure it was. Tea time? My scrapbook, please. Thank you. Wow! 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 wow. <laughs> Wait, you mean that story you told really was real? Well, sure. Wasn't yours? No. no. We made it up. What? Why? 
It's our campo tradition. <laughs> Roasting marshmallows, hot chocolates, sitting around the campfire telling tall tales. We do it every year. Didn't you hear us talking about telling tall tales? Uh, no. I guess I was working on my camping video and I missed it. <laughs> you didn't miss it, because you told a great story. Well, if I can make up a story, the very bitty great race is nothing compared to what I could tell in a tall tale. But as it stands now, I'd say sour and sweet win first prize for imagination. Thanks, but you can't give this to us. No, no, it's okay. I've won 200 of them. In fact, did I ever tell you about the trans-desert treasure of the Lost Pyramid Road Rally? No, but um, what about your video project? Ah, that can wait. We're on a camp out. I want to do what you guys are doing. Great! Let me heat up more hot chocolate. Any more marshmallows? Well, there I was, in the middle of the greatest sandstorm to hit the desert in years. 